Rose Squad Reviews. This is Melanie, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit out of the ordinary. I somewhat recently figured out how to screen capture on my computer. Yeah, it, it took me this long, okay? <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> um, so I always wanted to attempt a speed paint, and so this is what we have for you today. I'm going to be drawing Bulbasaur. As you can see, I'm working from a, a sketch here. So, well, a pre drawn sketch that I drew, and then I'll trace over it and color it, and it'll be a fun piece of digital art in the end. But Bulbasaur itself is actually kind of symbolic of what I want to talk about as I draw this, kind of. Um, because Pokemon itself had a big influence in getting me into anime. Um, even though I personally was born closer to the year 2000 than the year 1990, I would still consider myself a 90s kid, and part of that is because my family was a little behind the times in terms of getting the newfangled technologies that were coming out. Uh, mostly we just preferred to wait until the price went down before actually buying something new. And so, as youngsters, my brother and I weren't really into video games. I mean, we played, like, video games for the some PC Oregon Trail. Yes, that was a thing. But, so it wasn't until, like, second grade that we got our first Game Boy Advance. Such glorious times. And this was back when the Xbox 360 was first making its debut. So my first actual video game was Pokemon Red. A game that was almost as old as I was at the time. And thus, I was officially thrust into the wide world of Nintendo at the ripe old age of eight. Technically, Bulbasaur was my first starter. It's definitely a starter that I really like. To be honest, I restarted Pokemon Red so many times, and I played as each one of the with each one of the starters at least once. And I think I finally beat the game. I used Charizard. But with my newfound interest in Pokemon came a small exposure to anime. I don't personally count Pokemon as an official anime. I mean, I guess technically it is, but as an American child watching American dubbed Pokemon, I don't know. Anyway, that was kind of my gateway, and I soon became enthralled with the style of manga, and I checked out books from the library <laughs> so I could learn how to draw manga can see a few of my my very first illustrations and it's kind of rough but you got to start somewhere however it wasn't until much later that I actually started watching anime I remember seeing merchandise for like Naruto and Avatar the last airbender in stores and thinking what is that like what even Avatar teeters on the border between anime and not anime so I'd have to say that my first true anime was Naruto. Thanks to Kay, <laughs> I was pulled in with no hope of return. She's the one that got me started. I remember driving to church on Wednesday nights and she'd be like, so I started watching this new show. It's called Naruto. It has so much potential. And eventually she made me watch it and then just kind of the journey goes on. <laughs> After that, uh, we watched Bleach which caught my brother's attention. Um, he had also seen Avatar at that point, but it would be a couple years before he would admit to seeing Naruto. But now he's a fan, so it's all good. And then Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Following were shows like Blue Exorcist, Fruits Basket, Sword Art Online, and Yona of the Dawn. Some of my top three anime now um, would be Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, Yona of the Dawn, and Fruits Basket. Um, I, at this point, it also just kind of includes, like, whichever one I've watched most recent. <laughs> um, but I found a lot of anime that I've enjoyed. Um, and I think as, as a storytelling method, it offers something different from what I am used to seeing, but also a high level of just genre varieties and character arcs and plot and just quality medium all around. 
I think more people would enjoy anime if they were able to be accustomed to the style because it is a, it is a different way of communicating in a lot of ways. Um, characters have different like trademark reactions and different expressions um, and sometimes their mouths open up really wide <laughs> but I think it's slowly becoming more and more mainstream. Um, I will say I tend to be kind of a closet anime nerd. <laughs> I don't know about everyone else, but I'm like a little bit, I mean obviously I enjoy anime. I talk about it on this channel. But in my real life, <laughs> in my real life, um, in my daily experiences, I'm not the kind of person that um, will go out of their way to talk about anime. If it's brought up, I will join in on the conversation. But I'm very secretive a little bit about my anime-related interests, for whatever reason. When I first got into anime, this was something that was completely new to my parents. And so I was kind of like, meh, 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 you can't, don't, don't mind me, I'm just going to stay in my corner and watch anime and don't ask me questions about this because, uh, um, Apparently, my brother and I were watching Naruto at one point, and I guess my dad was, like, interested in what we were watching. But we were like, you wouldn't understand, Dad. And so, <laughs> he was like, okay, I guess I won't watch it then. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm sorry to have, like, put you off. Yeah, I don't really tell a whole lot of people about my interests, but I'm glad that I have a space where I can talk about it. And obviously, I, I do have friends that enjoy anime, so I can talk about it with them as well. But that is a short synopsis on how I got into anime. I hope you found this entertaining, and let me know if you want to see more of this kind of video in the future. So, I will see you next time. Thanks, guys! Mm -hmm.